Billy Squire fans. Eric Andreas, your guitar stage here. Today I'm going to show you how to play My Kind of Lover. It's a really easy song by one of my favorite artists. One of my favorite? I don't know about one of my favorite. But uh, this guy kicked ass. I mean, some of his songs just slay me. Just absolutely slay me. So I'm in a Billy Squire mood and I'm going to be teaching some Billy Squire songs. So this is the first one I'm going to teach. Um, My Kind of Lover. It's a really easy song. I'm going to do the stroke and um, maybe some other ones too. So let's check it out here. So I'm using Les Paul today. Um, some real basics. I'm running through the, um, the, the Fender Blues Jr. and I'm using a full tone OCD through that guy. So um, by the way, any of my sounds, anything like that, you want to get a hold of how I'm doing that, uh, links below to my Amazon store uh, where you can see just exactly what it is that I'm using. All right. So without further ado, let's dig into this, my friends. Super easy song, super fun to do. Okay. So really there are three parts to this song where there's a very obvious guitar part. There's some other parts where there's some keys and what have you, and I'll show you those chords there if you would like to play over those. You could come up with your own part if you're, say, doing this uh, with a cover band or something like that. Okay, the the very beginning is is pretty easy. We're really just talking about a C bar, a C power chord, okay? If you don't know what that is, I've got lessons for you here on YouTube regarding that. Um, just type in your guitar sage power chords and you'll find it. Okay, so the idea here is in this beginning we're doing very staccato type power chords. So I'm choking the chord as soon as I hit it. Okay, and I'm doing that. Doing it with the left and the right hand. Technically I only need one, but the right hand makes things cleaner. If you need help with that here on YouTube, type in your guitar stage muting and I have videos for left and right hand muting on that. Okay, so what I'm doing, uh, this power chord here, first fingers on the third fret of the fifth string and the third fingers on the fifth fret of the fourth string and then the pinky comes in on the up strum, so like this. Okay, you can hear that little subtle bit going on in there. Okay, and uh, you know, what I'm doing to get that nice clean sound is I'm doing a lot of muting. So I cover all of this uh, in a few videos here on YouTube and then also in my free course at yourguitarsage.com 30. The link for that's below as well. So if you need help with other stuff, I got, I got you covered, okay? So we got that beginning. So it's down, 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 up, down. Okay, and then we go to a G chord, which is just hitting this, just a straight up uh, power chord. Back to... That's what I'm calling riff one, okay? And then we got... Da -da -da -da. Okay, and that, those chords now, there's not a guitar playing there that I can hear, it's just the keyboard. By the way, this is my interpretation of it. I, I listen to the songs, I've done this since I was a kid, and then I say what the chords are and what I'm hearing. Uh, so I'm not hearing a guitar there, I'm hearing a keyboard, but the chords are A minor, F, I can't be without you, too long, A minor, you're my situation. That's an F and a G, okay? And those are our bar chords. If you need help for that, you know what to do. Your Guitar Sage bar chords here on YouTube. Or check out the free course. Yeah, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. Okay, so you got those chords. Now, I don't play anything there because that's the keyboard player's job, okay? But then there is this, um, you're my situation, you're my kind of lover. Those are power chords, right? So we got the A power chord right here. First fingers at the second fret of the third string, and we're just playing strings five and four. 
So I've got my thumb over the top of the neck muting that sixth string so I can do the nice rock and roll. You know, instead of pick those two strings individually, which looks corny, you want to be able to, right? And so in order to do that, you got to mute the other strings. Yeah, that's how, that's how Dave Grohl and all the pros do it, right? That's how the rockers do it. We, we're muting strings, my friends, okay? So there's a A power chord. Whoa. Keep going. And then we got an F power chord, which you can either play with the first and pinky or the first and third. I find that when the guitar's lower, if you're playing like um, Joe Perry, then you use your pinky because uh, you kind of have to have your hand in a weird position to play with the third finger. Uh, if you want to wear your guitar nice and low like the rockers do. Okay, so first finger's on the first fret of the E string and your pinky is on the third fret of the fifth string. And then we're going to slide that up a whole step. First finger's on the third fret of the E string and on the, the fifth fret of the A string. So those three chords. Okay, so that's what I'm calling lick two. Now lick three is... That part, right? The bridge. I think it's the bridge. Okay, now the way I'm hearing it is they're they're not quite power chords. If they are power chords, there's something brighter happening there. Maybe it's a guitar, maybe it's the keys, it's something, but it's brighter. And I do this all the time with with tunes, especially if I'm playing them out live and we don't have a keyboard player, or maybe I'm playing both guitar parts. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate it to the best of my ability those two guitar parts. So in this case here, um, if there is power chords going on, it'd be G and F. But I'm hearing more like... I'm hearing that... And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking your E major bar chord or your E major chord that you normally slide up here and make the bar chord that I do in those videos, the the at the 300 uh, bar chords to learn in like 15 minutes or so, just your Guitar Sage bar chords here on YouTube. Um, but I'm using that E form and I'm sliding it up to the G, but instead of playing that whole form, I'm just taking the, the three little notes right out of here. So basically I have my second and third finger on the fifth frets of five and four. And I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the third string. So it's normally. I'm just playing those three notes. In this case, less is more. We don't want to go. You could, but that's not what I'm hearing. And you just slide it down to the F. We're doing that percussive sound that or that staccato sound okay and again watch those videos if you need help with the muting but I'm also doing kind of like a pump here so it's kind of like pressing a button so that's what you're gonna do you're gonna be muting here and then you're you're pumping the notes over here you're basically you're pressing the notes down like that while you hit the chord It does take a little getting used to. I remember when I first tried this technique, I couldn't get it. It was difficult. But then in time, you get it, just like anything on the guitar, right? Okay, so those are our chords. And then the, to end it, or actually, yeah, right? So it just hits on that one and it holds it out. And that, my friends, is literally the entire song. I know it's super easy. Hey, I've got a video, or I will be putting up a video if it's not up already on the stroke. Uh, I have at least like 800 videos here on YouTube, so hopefully uh, I've got something for you. Just type in your guitar stage and your favorite artist, and chances are I've got something by them, uh, if not your favorite song. Hey, I've got a free course at yourguitarstage.com slash 30. Why did I do this for free? Because I had people literally 
you know, getting uh, 20 to 40,000 views a day, I get a lot of people asking me questions and I provided, I wanted to make a course that was free that anybody could get into and there's no obligation, there's no nothing. The only thing, not, we don't need a credit card or anything, it's literally go to yourguitarstage.com slash 30. Um, you will need your email address so we can send you the link and the whole nine yards and then you are in my friend and it's the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville uh, you can come see me here it costs about a thousand bucks and it'll take us about a year or you can watch it by hitting that link all those links are below my friends I'm here to help you out I do live uh, question and answer time and a bunch of other stuff so I have the medicine for what ails you when it comes to the guitar and you can literally do anything on this instrument that you desire if you do the work and if you have the resources hopefully I can help you with that all right I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all those places would love to help you out with any guitar needs that you have my friends as always question the man be kind. Be kind to every being. And play lots of guitar. See ya. You got me running, baby.